What's up guys, so here's the uh, red alert So officially this is not a review, I'm just you know showing what I have so Cause um, to review him I have to tra transform him and I'm not used to transforming these figures so I have to use like the instructions and it takes me like Like 40 minutes transform a transformer and you know it just takes too long for me so I'm just gonna show uh, you know what I have and what I like about the figure this is the box the box is really cool it's a really tiny box like I said in a update video and um, that's what he looks like in car mode really really awesome a really fun character from my past um, and um, I think I still have the original G1 gun is somewhere in my um, closet so yeah this is the, the robot form He's really awesome. Just uh, pretty cool. I don't know why this opens, but it, his head opens. Um, love the the head sculpt. Very cool looking. You can put on his um, and like in a cartoon, he 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 loses his logic circuits or get they get fried or something so they they did this which is kind of cool it's an, a little homage to it so that's when he starts losing his um his mind and um i thought it's really cool and you know it's very pretty reminds me of crim zeke if you guys know what i'm talking about um so yeah this is a little transparent piece very nice and it goes very easily on the head you can see also got this um, shoulder cannon here um, I wish that his shoulder cannon could it goes up and down but it doesn't go side to side I wish it could go side to side that would have been really cool and um, I wish I could give it a mod to do that but um, yeah also um, like in other reviews I noticed that this this thing a lot of reviewers said to watch out for because this might scrape the the red paint of the door of the car mode mo door so I put a little bit of like masking tape it's like plastic so when it rubs against it um, it won't scrape off the paint so I did that for both um both shoulders so I won't rub rub and scrape the red paint because um, he does look really nice in car mode you know so yeah, just trying to take care of my robot here. Um, I like this picture, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to try to get my Optimus Prime. I'm going to try to get the Toys R Us version one. And um, I'm trying to get the Prowl that's going to come out, which looks sick. The Prowl looks so freaking nice. And a smoke screen. I used to have a smoke screen too. So have this guy, Smokescreen, and Prowl. So I'm definitely going to re-get these guys uh, when they come out. Alright, so one of the things I really like about this guy is that he has an app crunch joint. Thing is that it's not really designed for an app crunch joint, but you're supposed to peg um, him here to the waist. But if you unpeg it, you can simulate an app crunch. So he can look down, he can look up like that. So you can pose him. Like that, like he's crunching down, which is to me is very cool for posing, you know. So, really like that. Um, his head can go all, can go up, and side to side. It can look down. I wish he, they would have made him with a little neck, so he could look down, you know. But that's how they made him. Um, I do like the paint job here, the chrome kind of tempted to panel line this but I don't want to mess them up um, also this right here kind of tempted to panel line this with the Gundam marker but I don't know because they spray these things with like some kind of some kind of like um, transparent shiny coat and if you try to do the panel lining it might not come out right so that's what uh, I had an experience with last time so I don't know if this is the same but I just don't want to mess around with it um, the white um, is actually the white stuff you hear 
you think it's just white plastic it's not it's painted plastic so they actually did paint the white on right white paint and red paint so I thought they just painted the red parts and they left white plastic because you know it should be easy to to make white plastic right but um they didn't they actually painted all the white well most of the white you know so um and from what I hear it's really hard to paint white so you, sometimes you see little tiny imperfections like um, here right there you see that little little tiny marking right there yeah so it's not the easiest thing to do so I heard so I love the articulation on this figure um, so you know pretty cool he's got swivel here he can do that he can do that um, this piece right here the shoulder piece can come out like that due to the transformation he has a waist um, joint right here it has really good range he has a little flap here in case you wanna uh, raise his legs really awesome that he has a good range that he also has a swivel here he has a good knee knee joint and he has a really good um well not a really good but uh, he got an ankle goes down and up and a little bit of swivel here just enough for good uh, dy dynamic poses he has a hand that opens and closes <clears throat> wish um wish he had a, a full hand like those um uh, Gundam kit that have like all the little joints and everything but I even considered like maybe doing a mod and putting one of those like fully posable hands on on, on these on these um masterpiece but I don't want to mess them up so um yeah probably won't do that um, love the symbol, the Autobot symbol. Got the little tiny Lamborghini there, and um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I think he's really awesome. It's red alert, you know. You can pose him. Just he's got a new, nice body. I like this um, mold. Very good uh, humanoid form humanoid form I mean and um, this goes all up and down I think I covered that I like the little ridges inside the cannon let's get the autofocus here there there's like little tiny ridges inside the cannon I don't know if you can see that let's see there you can barely see them I right there you can see it with the light bouncing right there that's pretty cool um, so yeah the paint job is not perfect but um, I you know it looks pretty cool anyways love the little um, touch they gave him with this you can switch the cannon or whatever you call this to this side he has two little slots um, the gun has a little peg has a little peg on it but um doesn't really peg that well to the to the hand but the hand that does a good good enough job to hold the gun so it's pretty cool um, and yeah just a really fun character guys really like this character red alert In there so having a lot of fun just posing it a few days ago and um, yeah okay so I think that covers everything right so definitely getting the uh, other masterpieces, not all of them, because I don't like all of them. Um, 
I, I do like when they do manage to put a waist swivel in the in the robot in the bot bot mode. So that's why I got this. Even you know, some, I'm really picky, I guess, because um, you know the the jets, for instance, the jets. Um, I like them, but I just don't like stiff torsos, man. Like, it just really bugs me. So when I saw that these guys were really well articulated. Um, which the Jets are, it's just that they're missing that they couldn't put it in or something, or it's very minute. Um, they don't have a waist swivel, so, you know, just being really picky, I guess. And, uh, yeah, these wheels are not real wheels, they're just there for being accurate to the TV um, series. Let's see what else this thing comes off. Like, I'm not gonna pull it off because this whole pack kinda will peg off. But um yeah just an awesome little guy man. Can't wait to get the um prowl, the side swipe, um the smoke screen. I wanna get the Toys R Us version of the Optimus Prime uh Toys R Us exclusive and I want to get the sound wave. So those are the ones that are on my list. Um, I hope they make a Megatron. Because uh, that will be pretty freaking awesome. Or I don't know what else. To get, you know. I don't keep up in uh, forum threads. But I know that I heard stuff. Like they could probably make a Megatron. Or what's the other one? Oh yeah Galvatron. Um, so yeah. So look, looking forward to the Masterpiece line man. It just looks so nice. The engineering is so freaking awesome. You know. It's just so awesome. I wish that they would look like this when I was a kid and I was collecting them. So, um, this is what I would imagine, you know, like when I was a kid. Why can't it look like that, you know? But I guess uh, 20, 25 years later, they do look like that. So, pretty cool. So, that, yeah, looking forward to more masterpieces. And if someone knows why this the head opens up, uh, let me know because I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna transform them because I'm not I'm not good at transforming them, and I, I don't want to scrape the paint. So, you know, that's why I said it's not a review because I'm not gonna transform. But I, I did try to cover everything I, I do know about it. Um, so yeah, I love the I love the Lamborghini, especially the Lamborghini from this era from the '80s very beautiful uh, design and um, really glad that they decided to make this so and yeah I'll get the side swipe if I can if I could find him for a good price because he's going for a crazy amount of money man so um, the same thing with Soundwave he's going up so yeah I better get on it and try to get them soon you know so so you guys if you guys see any uh, good deals for uh, Toys R Us Masterpiece Optimus Prime, you know, let me know because definitely like to get that. I'm I'm right now saving up for that, and um, definitely gonna try to get the Takara Soundwave because I really like that one. Even though they said that they're gonna come out with a Toys R Us version with all the cassettes, I heard uh, that he's not gonna be the same. Like the visor is gonna be yellow, so I don't know about that. I kind of like the Takara version with the red visor, so. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try to get the Takara version of, of the Soundwave and the cassettes as well. So, yeah, hope they make a Rambat or Wambat, whatever you call that guy, the cassette. Um, what else? Yeah, I'll stay tuned for the um, drawing the drawing, drawing video, guys. Um, I'm in the works of making it and um, put some. I'm going to put some little stop motion in it, you know. And, um, yeah, guys. So this is Kyrus, and this is Red Alert Masterpiece Transformers, and it's an awesome figure, guys. So if you're a Transformers guy, fan, get it, because it's freaking awesome. So that's my free publicity right there. It's a freaking awesome awesome figure. I like it a lot. Um, yeah. Maybe they should have put those... Um, Glow, I forgot what they call those pieces of, like they have an opening in the back so the light goes, filters through and then the eyes will glow. Maybe they should have done that, you know. 
Uh, forgot, I used to know the name of that. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy with this this um, masterpiece. Look at that app crunch, freaking awesome, man. Okay. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. This is Kairos, and see you around, guys.